Greetings my brothers and sisters, this is Christopher. In this video I want to share a dream that I had recently, uh, within the last week. Um, so the dream, it was a spiritual battle type dream and I was in some remembering in the dream that I was doing some like difficult scenarios or in some type of different battle situations there are all these like kind of stressful things anyway um, one of them was that I was climbing up a a hill and it was it started to get very steep where I had to climb using my hands and feet and the hill began to be like very loose dirt so it was very hard to hold on and other people were with me and they were like they went on ahead and they were climbing up the hill and going up the hill and they were in the distance but I like kept on slipping and like falling or, like sliding down the hill I couldn't get a good grasp on it and then and then like when I started to like not be able to get a grasp and started to fall back a little bit I looked to my right and there was like these vines that went like all the way up and as soon as I like reached my hand over to grab the vines that part of the dream ended and I realized when I went into the next part of the dream that I failed some type of uh, test there and I was in the next part of the dream and I was driving I was in a car with these other people driving and they were trying to um, take my foot and I had a shoe these certain shoes on and they were trying to attach a screw into the bottom of my shoe and I had a remembrance that something was going to go wrong and my foot was going to get cut but so I was like squirming to get my foot free but I wasn't able to do it and it was like it was like basically like an unavoidable thing that I was going to have to suffer pain and I was trying to like avoid it and then that part ended and I was like in the passenger seat and this other man was driving a car and I was disappointed because I knew that I had failed the the test going up the mountain and I knew I'd failed it over and over and over again and because I kept on doing it and I was disappointed and um, I was upset and then I was saying why I keep on failing over and over again why can't I like why can't I improve and then this like the man next to me he's he started singing these words to me and this like amazing presence and this amazing like music came with it and he said he said like this Love me maybe a little more and you will see. Love me and your heart will be satisfied. And then he sang two lines from songs that I sing to the Lord. And I knew that that was Jesus. I knew that, that he was in that man. And he sung to me and he told me, to love him and my heart will be satisfied to love him and then I will see and I believe the Lord was showing me that to overcome in my spiritual battles to overcome through pain and difficulty and tribulation I need to love him more I need to focus on my love for him because when I'm focused on my love for him then I can go through those painful situations. Then I can go through all of those things. And no matter what, if I focus on my love for Him, my heart will be satisfied. I know that is absolutely true, and those are words of truth. 
that my Lord sung to me and it was so wonderful to hear and I woke up after he sung those words to me and then the two lines that I sing to him I couldn't remember exactly what they were but there were something about loving the Lord and then as I was waking up I saw this vision of like this enormous tree and it had like different layers of like canopy and they were all like these like brilliant leaves and branches and I knew it represented the body of Christ it looked amazing that was what I saw as I woke up and I was very emotional I cried I was like so thankful to the Lord for that because I was I couldn't get through those spiritual battles and when I look back on it I realized that when I was climbing up the mountain I was climbing and climbing and I was losing my foothold. I was losing my grip. I was starting to struggle. I was starting to fall back. But instead of relying on Jesus, instead of focusing on my love for Him, I looked over for something else. I sought something else to help me. I sought the vine. I sought the easy way up. I sought the easy way instead of persevering and seeking the Lord. And I know that it's a spiritual thing, so it's not necessarily like entirely physical, but it represents spiritual things that we need to seek the Lord when we're in difficulty. And our love for Him can get us through anything. Our love for Him is what can get us through persecution and tribulation, all forms of suffering, focusing on our love for Jesus. And I know that if we do that, our hearts will be satisfied. Because that's what he told me, that is what he sung to me. It was so beautiful and so amazing, I wanted to share that with you. And I hope that encourages you, because it certainly has me. And I know that it is the most important thing. It is the greatest command to love God with all of our hearts, mind, soul and strength. That is the first and greatest command. And the second is to love our neighbor as ourselves, to love all others as Jesus loves them, as our God loves them. And Jesus is our God. And He's our Savior and Messiah. He is our strength. He is our rock, our foundation. And we need to build our spiritual house on Him and be always focused on Him. And we are coming into difficult times. We are going to be tested. Every day is a test. And we're constantly engaged in warfare of a spiritual kind. We are under the temptations of the flesh, the temptations of the enemy. However, through the Lord, we can prevail. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And we are more than overcomers in Him. When we are in Him and abide in Him, we can overcome as He overcame the world. And... He gave me this information because I know it is so vitally important that we can overcome anything if we focus on our love for Him, whatever it is. So I want to encourage you, if you're going through difficult times, if you are going through them now, you're suffering, in pain, or in the future, when these times come upon this world, as I know they will, we need to focus on our love for Christ, to remember what He did for us. He is the Word of God manifested in the flesh. He is the Lamb of God and the Son of God who gave His life up for our souls to redeem us from hell, to redeem us from death. I know that I would have perished without Him and the world will perish without Him. All who believe in Him will be saved and who follow Him, and abide in Him. So, remember what our Saviour has given for us, His flesh and blood upon the cross, the torment and suffering that He endured, out of love, and to follow His Father's will. So that is what we need to do, and focus on our love for Christ, and whatever it is, the situation, we need to love Him more than we love our own lives. We need to put Him first, beyond anything. 
He is our first love. And we cannot fall from that. And it will help us. And I know that our hearts will be satisfied if we focus on loving Jesus. If we focus on loving our Lord God Almighty, who is Jesus Christ, one with God the Father and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, I just wanted to encourage you with this because there are certain things that are revealed to me that I struggle with and they're revealed to me in the context of spiritual battles where I have difficulty doing self-sacrifice. I have difficulty in certain things, in relying on the Lord instead of relying on my flesh and relying on other things. There are other difficulties like that get revealed to me about hidden things within my heart that need to be resolved, where I need to have the Lord purify me in all ways, but I must submit to Him so that He can cleanse me and purify me. And for me, the dreams are a process of me actually realizing these things, and I confess them to the Lord and I repent. It can be like lusts and lies and weird and, and things like this. I don't necessarily do them in my everyday life, but the Lord reveals to me in my dreams that there are certain situations where I may do those things. And I need to be on guard about those things because this is a serious situation. This is no joke. It's a real spiritual battle between the forces of hell and the kingdom of heaven, our Lord Jesus. He is the Almighty, and through His strength we can overcome and I just wanted to share that focus on your love for Jesus. Remember what He's done for you. Remember His salvation. Remember that He died and suffered on the cross for you to redeem your soul and to save all the souls on the earth who would believe in Him and accept the gift of His sacrifice, His holy divine blood and His flesh, which He gave for the life of the world, which is the Word of God and the bread of life. And the veil to heaven. So I thank you for watching my brothers and sisters. I hope this may encourage you. I was so happy to hear my Lord singing to me. It was so beautiful, so amazing. And once he sung those words to me in the dream, I actually started crying in the dream and rested my head on his shoulder because I knew it was him. I knew it was my Lord and he was encouraging me so that I could overcome in these battles where I was failing every time because I wasn't seeking Him. I wasn't relying on Him and I wasn't focused on my love for Him. And that is vital. So I thank you, my brothers and sisters. I love you all. May God bless you and your families. Your brother, Christopher.